Hey guys, Crystal Thompson here for Color Combos with Crystal. Today I have the easiest, clean and simple race panel card using ink blends to create a gorgeous ombre, which is going to match super nicely with these white backgrounds and an awesome new stamp from Unity. For this card, you're going to be using the Every Single Day Sentiment Kit, which was released back in 2018. It's a gorgeous set of sentiments along with the newest release, By His Wounds. We're going to be using the floral part of that stamp set. And then we have the sentiment from the Every Single Day. Also using Distress Oxides and Peacock Feathers and the Lemon. And then we have the three colors of, or excuse me, three sheets of cardstock. This is Nina 110 cardstock. We're going to begin by stamping the sentiment from the every single day. And this is just a one line sentiment. And I have already cut up my strip and it's ready to go. And I'm going to stamp this sentiment using a really pretty um, turquoise blue that is going to match very nicely. And it says, you are darn, you're darn amazing. <laughs> I've added a piece of foam to the back and we're going to set aside. Next, we're going to be bringing the By His Wounds, which is a kind of an Easter themed stamp set, but I want to create something that's not Easter theme and use this stamp set a little more. I'm going to stamp that floral down onto the cardstock and then I'm going to be using some clear uh, heat embossing to cover the whole thing. And it'd be easier to stamp this and then trim it as opposed to trimming and then stamping. Just kind of give you a little hint on what worked. I'm going to do the heat embossing onto each corner of this clear embossing ink and then once it's all set you'll see it come up it kind of turns into like a glittery clear color so peacock feathers and twisted citron are our color so we're going to bring in that peacock feathers at the bottom and i'm going to make sure that i have a super deep super um, thick layer of this peacock feather and then with my second ink blender we're going to do this twisted citron and so again making sure that we have a very solid layer of this color and then slowly bringing those two colors together to blend those and it creates between these two blue and green it creates a really pretty um, turquoisey green and that's what's going to serve as our color ombre and again Ink blending is something super that's been super popular and I wanted it just to bring it into a smaller set and doing it onto a clean and simple background. So I'm going to keep blending to create those colors and then moving on to putting the whole thing together. So as I mentioned, we have three pieces of cardstock. We had we have heat embossed one and then I have a five and a half, four and a quarter, which is our largest card base. And then I have this guy that I'm adding some adhesive to and it's about an inch shorter on each side or an inch on one side, which will give you half an inch. We're gonna try to place it right in the center. And then on this one, on the ink blending, we're gonna raise it. So I'm gonna add foam adhesive as well. And then I'm gonna bring in a little piece of foam, and this is from the dollar store, and it only has one sided of adhesive. These are made for like crafts, but I feel like when you're doing a large um, piece of car such as this, I really like how it brings it in evenly, and it's super easy to place down. So I'm gonna try to center this as well onto the center of this clean and simple. So we have you know, a matted white on white, and then we're gonna place the ink blended, and it really makes it look super easy. Remember the You're Darn Amazing, and we've added foam adhesive to the back of this as well. We're gonna place it right on the center, and I play, you know, when I'm filming this, I'm watching through the <laughs> through the side, so it kinda ended up a little crooked, so I came back and fixed it to um, get the picture right. Next, I have a couple of these clear gems and I have them in three colors. So I have this blue and then I have a green and then I have that really bright green that's kind of like that Twisted Citrone. And this color, Color Inspiration, was inspired by these three colors. And so if you're looking for some inspiration, go check out your embellishments and say, you know what, I can use these guys and then run your card based on those colors. So that's kind of what I did, how I was inspired to make this card. I wanted to use these really cute gems, even though they were really close in color. I was like, you know what? We could totally make this work. So I'm gonna add those using the clear Tombow mono adhesive, which is just clear glue. You can use Elmer's glue, which is a little more cost effective and it dries clear and it's gonna hold on to these jewels as well. And then last but not least, adding these bright green 
Um, and these are more solid than the other ones. The other ones are kind of clear, but ultimately it finishes the whole card together. It gives it a little glitter, a little shimmer, yet you have this beautiful clean and simple look. And the gems are actually going in between the flowers. You can see I haven't placed any on top of the flowers because I really want that clear to stand up. And guys, that does it for me. Thank you so much for joining me on Color Combos for Crystal. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Super easy, clean ombre card on ink blending with the newest By His Wound stamp set. We'll see you guys later. Have an amazing day.